Hey people, I just, real quick, I just woke up, I'm having my coffee, haven't even washed my face yet, started watching videos before I get ready to go to the record show today, and I'm watching Jeff Glowing Cabbage's video, and I see my sister's um, comment, I just have to just say, it's perfect for this Sunday morning. She said, now again folks, just remember, this is just, I'm just telling you from Derek's point of view, this is just Derek's world, I'm not trying to tell you, but I'm telling you, the words were brilliant. They're just what I needed to hear this morning. Um, I haven't even watched all of Jeff's video, but something about the video made her comment that, the and the statement is, Satan is just another word for ego. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. In my world, in my mind, that's brilliant. Because I'm just so clear about how how we as people we're constant. We're fooled by our minds. You know, we think what we're, we we think what we think is real. We think that what we believe is real, and so we're constantly fooled. Even me, you know. I just had this experience the other night, folks. You see, I I love I love knowledge, and knowledge is 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 not infinite. It's only finite. That's the other thing I understand. Man is not the seat of reality. We're we're just players. We don't. We're not the highest thing, but something that I've learned that I understand to be true is that a lot of what we recognize in life is because of memory. We think we know things. We think that we perceive things, but half of what we perceive is based on our memory of of, of encountering it before. Good case in point is I um, my Walkman was on and I left it playing when I fell asleep. I woke up and it's playing. And so I hear this music faintly as I start to wake up and I don't recognize it. Then I start to wake up and I recognize, but I can't hear well, you know, my ears, I need to get them clean. Um, and so I, I recognize the tune, but I can't hear it well enough. So I'm not catching what key it's in. I'm not remembering what key it's in. So it's sounding really strange to me until I wake up enough to remember what key it's in, and then it all pops into perspective. And to me, that was another um, living experience of this knowledge that most of what we think is real is just based on our perception and our memory of encountering that um, information before. So what I'm trying to say, honestly, and in you know, if if you if you if you are unintelligent and don't get this, I'm not putting you down. I'm saying it's too bad that you don't, because you may I've may have already lost some of you. But what I'm saying is brilliant. It's brilliant. Satan is just another word for the ego. Now, see, I'm down with that because I don't need to blame someone for the shitty side of me. I'm well aware that I've got a really really negative shit low side of my personality. It's part of being human. But see, I take responsibility for it. I don't have to blame somebody. Oh, I couldn't help it. The devil made me do it. Oh, hell no, I did it. <laughs> That's why I don't do a lot of things, you know. You know, I have devilish impulses. I have thoughts and ideas that are not nice, that are not helpful. I take responsibility for them, and that's why I don't act on them. I think because people keep an out. That's why people keep acting like fools. Um, this is my Sunday morning sermon. How's that? <laughs> Jeff Glowing, Double O Cabbage, and Steffi Vaughn, my sister Stephanie, you got me off on the right foot. In about 45 minutes, I'm supposed to go, I'm planning to go to a record show. I may or may not spend, I don't know. Sour Juggernaut made the uh, comment that yesterday I had said, oh, I may not, I may uh, not go to record store day and I end up making five videos. Isn't that the reality of it? You know, I'm just, I have no stock in people, phony people like politicians and leaders who think that it's a sign of strength to not change your mind, to make a stance and stand on it. That's stupid, you know. God, I see through these fools, you know. I'm, I, you know, some days coffee's good too. I, I guess I slept okay too. But my mind is just going this morning, you know. And I'm just going to just empty my thoughts before I leave for the record show. Man, I see right through um, phony leaders of the world. I see right through them. They're all they they're all out for self. 
They're liars. They're liars. So a few of them might actually care about people and want to make things better. Most of them are just liars. And that reminds me of something I've been wanting to say that came to mind, and I'm glad I remembered it because I want to share this so that I can be understood better. Maybe I won't be, but I'll explain myself so that I can be understood better. And it was sparked again by another uh, video that I watched. Yesterday, um, uh, DJ, his name is Jay. He bought my album. He got one of the red vinyls, and he posted his video uh, review of it yesterday. Thank you, Jay. And um, he shared while talking that he's a military man, you know. And I want to say really strongly and honestly about Derek when it comes to military and who I am and why I'm like I am. Um, first off, I sincerely applaud and thank all military personnel for your service to this country. I thank all military service personnel who have served to their countries if you're outside of the U.S. Thank you, folks for being willing to put your life on the line for this, for our country. I have no military background. I am now not military. I am not material, military material. I st am strongly opposed to um, uh, unwavering, unthinking obedience to authority. I'm, I'm so against that. Listen to me, okay? I understand about how military conquest and war and all that shit has made the world the way it is today, the wonderful world that we live in. I see that. However, I never forget the other part of it, too. There's two sides of that coin. And when you show one, you're a fool to forget the other. War is hell, and it has made life really, really awful for large parts of this world. For the few victorious, there are many who suffer greatly and for a long time. So what I'm saying is, I am not of a military mind. I am not down with military. And it is reflected in my personality. I am anti-automatic authority. And I never forget the legacy of being a brown-skinned black man in this country. Um, I am not, I don't have to be a patriot. I don't have to forget the reality of being a black man in America. I was not wanted. My skills of my people, the sweat of my people was wanted by this country, not we as, as people. And that's the legacy of this nation. I'll never forget it. I have no patriot feelings about that. I'll never forget that. You know, that doesn't, all of a sudden that doesn't get erased when I'm asked to serve for my country. I'll never forget this country to this day still through the actions of, of ignorant individuals. I still am treated like an outsider in my own country. I'll never forget that. I want to state that for the record. I respect all military and your service, but I am not one of them. And I hate the way that authority figures um, consistently take advantage of their authority, consistently. I know a lot. As a mental health specialist, I have worked with a lot of politicians, military people, their families, leaders from around the world, behind closed doors at these um, psychiatric facilities, you know, I ain't saying shit because I know stuff that would, I'd have people over here wanting to talk to me if I were to say things that I know. And I'll never say them because I understand. But what I'm saying, because of what I know from experience, I know how phony and how unreal great, great numbers of world leaders and so-called um, dignified people are. They're liars, they're phonies, they're, 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 raping us and raping our children behind our backs and we're voting them into office and we're telling folks, oh no, he's a good guy. You don't know people. And so that whole, that one little statement, Stephanie, that you wrote to Jeff Glowing Cabbage got me going this morning. Satan is another word for ego. I am so glad to be free from 
yeah, I'm ranting. This ain't about music, but I want you to watch this. I want you to hear my words, whether you agree with me or not, whether you think I'm crazy. I want you to watch and hear this person saying this for the record. This is one human being who's saying, I am, fr I am so glad I'm free from the madness of organized religion. I'm so glad that I am free from the madness of how man learned how to manipulate the minds of others by how you say things, how you frame them, what picture you paint, and then you have people like sheep following you because they just can't figure it out for themselves or they really believe. You know, remember, a lot of what we believe has to do with what we were taught. And if, if what we were taught, if it sticks good, then that's what we think. You know, like if we're born in Russia, then Russian reality is what we, that's our reality. Try to just wrap your mind around that, people. The people that live in Sweden, the way that the Swedes are thinking about life is not exactly the same as what Americans are. And what Americans on the East Coast are thinking reality is, is not quite the same as what people are thinking of reality in the South or the Midwest. Or, and the same is true down in Jamaica, in Africa, down in Brazil, or over in Australia. We all have varying degrees of how we perceive this landscape of reality but it's all perception. Some of you more intelligent people kind of grasp what I'm saying. I may be wrong. I don't know. I'm just sharing what makes sense to me. I think it's important to try to share thoughts like this as opposed to just always just sharing who got the best score in the game yesterday. That's all fine. You won't hear that from me, but you need to hear people like me saying this to get you thinking more about what you're thinking and questioning I do want to encourage others to question what they just take, what you just have just been all along just assuming is correct. Try to understand your perception is not reality. This is one of the things that infuriates me about trying to talk with people who have set beliefs. They don't understand intellectually that all they're doing is telling you what they believe they're so in the middle of it they actually think it's reality but when that brain stops working that reality that you're talking about it ends it's just mental activity thank you stephanie and thank you jeff glowing cabbage with your drunk ass in that video for getting my sunday off to a, an incredible start just musing on these thoughts makes me feel really good. You know, really happy to be alive. Really happy to be free from dogma that insists I think a certain way that would make me miserable. If any of this makes any sense, and if you can use it, watch this video again, people. Be free. Try to understand that this idea that there's people on this planet who know more than you do and you better listen to what they say because they're right and you're wrong man that's a joke that's a farce i don't know what i'm saying i'm just telling you what makes sense to me don't follow me <laughs> check out what i'm saying decide for yourself those are the words of a wise man don't listen to me don't follow me because i'm saying it figure it out for yourself okay those are words to live by somebody that tells you to follow them Run the opposite direction as fast as you can if you have any brains at all.